we have these copes in fitness where we make these rules up and the rules stem from injuries. Eugene Teo just made a really good Instagram video. Does this look dangerous? How about this? This looks a little bit better, right? What you're seeing here are different degrees of spinal flexion. The fact is, one is not better than the other, and none of these are going to directly cause or keep you free from pain, injury, or strength performances. A lot of the research people reference for avoiding spinal flexion is performed on pig spines that have been removed from the pig and exposed to such extremes of motion that you or I are probably never going to achieve. Not to mention, as living humans, we can adapt and get more resilient over time, not degrade and break down like a dead pig spine. This generates unnecessary fear around completely normal movements and everyday postures that we see both in and out of the gym. So instead of creating fear and labeling these things as good or bad, we should focus primarily on what really matters, which is gradual exposures, smart programming and progressions, and optimizing recovery from as many avenues as possible. What we need to do in the back squat, particularly if we want to squat deeper, is learn how to free our pelvis. The spine is meant to bend. The low back, the T-spine, the cervical spine, they are meant to bend. They can take load. They are meant to take load. They're not meant to take a lot of load if you're not prepared for it. So today I worked with Adam. Adam has had a, a string of injuries uh, in either his knee, his back. And one of the things that his physical therapist always says is your lumbar spine, the pelvic tilt, the anterior tilt that you have needs to change somehow. You need to fix that because it is absolutely, you know, it is very extreme. He walks around like this. And so what happens is when he starts squatting, his chest opens up, his butt shoots out the back. Okay, now that may or may not have led to knee injuries or whatever. But when, when I talked to him today, I said a few things. I said, Adam, what you can do here is allow your back to round a little bit because what I want you to do is build up the comfort in your hips with a slightly rounded back. I just want you to, to feel what that feels like. You won't injure yourself. Why? Because we're doing it with no weight. Adam is a 250 kilo back squatter. He will be okay. Okay? So what we're doing is just learning, just feeling what that feels like. And what you'll see is over time, that butt wink for him likely will go away. And he says, well, God, I feel like I'm rounding my thoracic spine so much. Don't you want to have somewhat of an open chest? Well, yeah, maybe you will. But if you're ever in that bottom position and you do not train to unlock your T-spine, if you get down low and you're not ready for that, there is no chance of you having any control over the rest of your spine because your body is not ready to take that on. Adam right here is squatting and he has this nice little bar path grid going on, which is awesome. And what he kept saying was, he's like, I don't know how to get the bar over my midfoot. It seems like it's lined up there now, but he's like, I just can't do it. And when I, when I squat down, I just feel like something is wrong. I don't feel solid. And again, this is a 250 kilo back squatter, right? So here we can see the squat, and as you can see, that bar starts moving forward. It's over his toes. It's over his tippy toes. And then as he comes up, um, see, it's dreadful here. So as he comes up, you'll see the bar come forward again. I don't like to just look at the tracking, but one thing I can say right there is he was just staying like this. It's just trying to figure out how to get in that bottom position with, like his physical therapist said, right, his anterior tilt. And it's just how he squatted. So I said, you know what, Adam, just humor me. Notice how low his hip is to his knee crease. His knee is closer to his, shoulder, his armpit. The proximity of his knee is close to his armpit. That's a big one right there, okay? I say, oh, look, there's a little bit of a curvature in the low back. Now, to Adam, if we look at this position, to Adam, he's like, oh, my God, it feels like my, it feels like my low back is, like, bent in half. I'm like, dude, it doesn't look that bad. 
get down to the bottom position of the squat. You're kind of doing the same thing, right? Protecting his low back. And now I say, shoot back, keep going, keep going, keep going. Now look at this position, right? What everyone is going to say is, oh my God, his low back is rounding. And he's like, wow, it feels like it's going to round. It feels like it's rounding. I'm not ready for this position. This is weird. Okay. But it's only 70 kilos. Okay. Now watch him stand up out of this. Boom. Okay. You know, the first thing he said to me when I was standing up, when he was standing up out of that, the first thing he said, he said, I feel athletic. I feel like I'm loose. I feel like I'm ready to explode out of that position. And when I hit the bottom position of the squat, I just have big legs. I'm, I don't know, naturally it's, it's kind of simple to me to squat. I just still feel weird. I feel like I'm too stiff to really do anything. The only, I can just grit through things and I'm used to heavy weights when I max out like that. And this is something that I noticed on Adam immediately. Look at his abs. Now this is a dude who doesn't really have abs. But I've never seen hit this position right here. Never. Unracking a bar. I've never seen him do this. Go ahead. And now if we look at the bottom position. I'm going to pause it right there. That position translates to the front squat, the overhead squat. That position works. This is what I'm talking about. Look at the proximity of his knees to his armpits, his calves to his hamstrings. This will help him out. And mind you, we are going to load this properly over time. This might not translate to a maximum back squat, but again, he's going to stand up out of this like it's nothing. And again, the first thing he says after, he's like, this feels unbelievable. This feels amazing. Look, here we are with 90 kilos. Look at, look at that squat position. He has never been in that position. Never. This is so valuable for his sport specifically. But you out there, if you do not snatch or clean and jerk, this will be valuable to you as well. Again, it's something that he kept saying. I feel like my core is just so unbelievably tight. Even though it was strange to me that my low back felt like it was rounding, right? It felt like, oh my God, this is not what I'm allowed to do. But the moment he started doing it, he felt like this is like something was unlocked. And this is the most amazing one right here. And I want you guys to watch this. Sh 120 here. If you could see the front view, his abs are actually working. He feels so confident here. And what, is this the position that we are scared of as grown-ass adults who've, who've trained? Is this what we're afraid of? This inch and a half, two-inch movement in our pelvis? He looks pretty vertical to me. He looks ready to explode out of a maximally flexed position. And that's the, the first thing he said. I feel amazing. I feel like I can explode out of this. This is going to help him. Look, I will say this. We have these copes. And like I've said before, we have these copes in fitness where we make these rules up and the rules stem from injuries. And we tie the injury to the movement, not the way that we did the movement in the first place. Tie it to capacity and fitness. Do not tie it to certain movements. We don't absolutely know that the pelvic tilt, a minor pelvic tilt in a deep squat is going to kill us. What we do know is if you do something you're not prepared for, yeah, it's going to get you, okay? I'm out here doing Jefferson curls, doing Zercher deadlifts, or we just call them deadlifts at this point. You know, if we look back on Eugene's video, he says it's okay. We need to stop coping and creating these rules and just limiting ourselves entirely. Again, I've been fired up this whole day because I just got back from the gym. I hope you guys can take this and work on it. Again, check those technique videos that I pointed out in the beginning and I love you guys so much. I'm back, baby. I'm back doing these technique videos. Comment if you want me to talk about anything else. Let's do this. Love you. Bye.